Diana Muldor, a seasoned actress with a diverse career, has made a significant impact on the entertainment industry. From her notable roles, one wonders which particular work defined her career. Whether it's her compelling performances in classic television shows or memorable appearances in films, her work has resonated with audiences. Reflecting on her influence, many have personal stories of how she has inspired or impacted their lives. Her talent and presence on screen have touched individuals in various ways, fostering a lasting connection with her audience. As we delve into the fascinating aspects of her career, we invite you to share your most treasured memory or personal experience related to this legendary actor in the comments below. We look forward to hearing your stories and memories. Stay tuned as we uncover intriguing, funny, shocking, and sad facts about Diana Muldor in the upcoming segments. Keep watching this video for more insights into the life and career of this legendary actress. Celebrating the career of Diana Muldor, an actress of great talent whose work has left a significant imprint on the entertainment world. Over many years, she showcased her skills in various TV shows and movies, portraying a wide range of characters with authenticity and depth. Her ability to bring these characters to life captivated audiences and left a lasting impression. From well-known TV series to memorable performances on the big screen, Muldor's versatility as an actress has cemented her place in Hollywood history. Her dedication to her craft and her knack for portraying relatable characters set her apart as a truly exceptional talent. Through her work, she not only entertained, but also inspired countless aspiring actors and actresses. Muldor broke barriers in her time, paving the way for future generations of performers. Her influence continues to be felt, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the impact of a truly talented artist on the world stage. Frequently seen in various medical roles, Diana Muldor made her mark in the Star Trek series. She portrayed Dr. Anne Mulhall, a biologist, in the original series episode Return to Tomorrow, and later took on the role of psychologist Dr. Miranda Jones in Is There in Truth No Beauty? In Star Trek The Next Generation's second season, she played physician Dr. Catherine Pulaski. These characters showcased an open-minded perspective on the universe. Besides acting, Muldor was also known for her involvement with Airedale Terriers. She was active as a breeder, owner, and judge within the Airedale community. During her time on Star Trek The Next Generation, Muldor faced challenges with memorizing lines. Director Paul Lynch disclosed that cue cards were used to assist her during filming, enabling her to maintain performance quality despite difficulties with line recall. Muldor's talents extended beyond acting, reflecting her dedication to both the screen and her personal interests. In the 1960s, she performed alongside Richard Dysart at New York's Circle in the Square Theater. She's best remembered for her role as Rosalind Shays in Ella Law. In a candid interview, she recalled a challenging moment on set where she refused to do a dangerous stunt. Instead, a skilled stuntwoman took over, highlighting the importance of safety and entertainment. Outside of Hollywood's spotlight, her journey and acting shows her dedication and principles. Her experiences in the theater scene of the 1960s, alongside Dysart, shaped her into the seasoned actress we remember today. In an industry where courage and resilience matter, she stood firm, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Her story offers insights into the challenges and victories of a past era in entertainment and inspiration for aspiring actors and actresses today. In Martha's Vineyard, Ma S.A., she looked for a new job to restart her career after taking care of others for many years. Her part as Rosalind Shays in El Da Law, where she's caught with her rival, was a really memorable moment on TV. It's interesting to note that her cousin is the dad of actress Kathy Baker. This peek into her life shows us about her journey and connections in the industry. Diana Muldor has had a varied career, playing many different characters on stage and screen. She started in theater and moved on to movies and TV, showing she can do many things well. People in the industry and fans all respect her for her talent and hard work. Even as Hollywood changes, she keeps on loving telling stories and making characters feel real. Her work encourages others who want to act, showing them that with skill, persistence, and a little luck, you can make it in showbiz. Diana Muldor's story proves that people can overcome challenges and that movies and TV are really special. After finishing college at Sweetbriar in 1960, she began a journey that mixed academia and entertainment. Forty years later, in 2000, she returned to Sweetbriar as the important speaker at graduation. This was a meaningful moment that showed how much time had passed 
and what she had achieved. On TV, she had a big break when she got the role of Dr. Catherine Pulaski in Star Trek The Next Generation. She had to work hard for this role as the producer had to choose between her and another actor. But it was her talent and presence that got her the part. Besides Star Trek, she made a mark in legal dramas by playing Rosalind Shays in L.L. Law, a character that people remember well. She wasn't just known for her individual roles. She was part of a group of actors who moved from L.L. Law to work on Batman, the animated series. Among them, she stood out because of her unique voice that made the characters she played more interesting. Looking back, her journey through both academia and entertainment shows how versatile and talented she is. Her story, filled with hard work and persistence, keeps inspiring actors and intellectuals. In honor of Star Trek's 40th anniversary, fans gathered for conventions across the galaxy to celebrate the beloved series. Diana, a dedicated follower who hadn't attended a convention in over 10 years, was drawn back by the chance to commemorate the show. In September 2006, she found herself in Las Vegas, surrounded by fellow enthusiasts, reuniting with Star Trek veterans and soaking in the shared nostalgia. Playing Dr. Catherine Pulaski in Star Trek The Next Generation, Diana made a notable decision about her character's clothing. Instead of the usual tight jumpsuit, she chose a unique version of the standard uniform with slacks. This bold choice reflected her independent spirit and resonated with fans who appreciated seeing diverse body types on screen, especially for a middle-aged woman like herself. Interestingly, Diana Muldor, Gene Roddenberry, and Jonathan Frakes shared a rare connection. They all celebrated their birthdays on August 19. This delightful coincidence strengthened the sense of kinship among the Star Trek family. In the records of Star Trek history, Diana Muldor's contributions remain a testament to her talent and her willingness to push boundaries both on and off screen. Her impact continues to inspire generations of fans, reminding them that the journey to explore new frontiers is about inclusion, acceptance, and celebrating diversity. In her role as Dr. Catherine Pulaski in Star Trek The Next Generation, she stands out as one of the few recurring doctors across all Star Trek series who never said the famous line, I'm a doctor, not a... Interestingly, Playmates Toys honored her character by releasing an action figure. Apart from her work in Star Trek, she has interesting personal connections. For example, she is the ex-sister-in-law of the musician Maria Muldor, adding a fascinating layer to her connections in the entertainment industry. Her network of relationships shows how connected she is personally and professionally. As Dr. Pulaski, she brought a unique energy to the series, leaving a lasting impression on fans and toy collectors alike. The decision not to use the famous line became a distinctive trait, setting her apart from other doctors in the Star Trek universe. This choice added to the mystery and charm surrounding her character. Her connections and portrayal of Dr. Pulaski highlight the richness she brought to Star Trek. Her influence goes beyond the screen, leaving a lasting impression on fans and collectors alike. In summary, her portrayal of Dr. Catherine Pulaski in Star Trek The Next Generation, along with her connections in the entertainment industry and the absence of a famous catchphrase, make her a noteworthy figure in the Star Trek universe. Her character's influence endures not only on screen, but also in the form of an action figure, showing her lasting influence in the world of science fiction. Diana Muldor played Dr. Catherine Pulaski in Star Trek The Next Generation, but she didn't return for the third season. The producers had thought about introducing a new Doctor due to fans' disappointment over Gates McFadden's departure after the first season. Instead, McFadden returned as Dr. Crusher. In The Swimmer, Muldor made her debut as Cynthia, marking her entry into acting. In a 2000 interview with People magazine, she mentioned feeling like the ill. A law actors were family, but didn't have fond memories of her time with the Star Trek The Next Generation cast. Muldor's portrayal of Dr. Pulaski added depth to the series, bringing a different dynamic to the medical team aboard the USS Enterprise. However, her departure left fans speculating about the reasons behind it. Some suggested creative differences, while others believed it was a strategic decision by the show's producers. Despite her brief tenure on the show, her contribution was undeniable, leaving a lasting impression on Star Trek fans worldwide. Her versatility as an actress was further showcased in The Swimmer, where she delivered a compelling performance as Cynthia, grabbing audiences and critics alike. Despite any challenges or mixed experiences on set, Muldor's talent and contribution to both Star Trek The Next Generation and The Swimmer remain noteworthy aspects of her esteemed career. 
Diana Muldor's younger brother, singer-songwriter Jeff Muldor, is part of her family. Besides her family ties, she had a remarkable career in entertainment. She served on the board of the Screen Actors Guild and later became president of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. In 1967, she appeared in a TV episode called Fandango, which notably influenced a portion of the album The Wall by Pink Floyd. Specifically, the introduction to the song Is There Anybody Out There features excerpts from this TV episode. Her journey from a Screen Actors Guild board member to president of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences showcases her significant role in the entertainment industry. Her connection to the famous Pink Floyd album adds an interesting touch to her diverse career. In the world of Star Trek, Diana Muldor left her mark by playing different roles. Before becoming Dr. Catherine Pulaski in Star Trek The Next Generation, she portrayed scientists in the original Star Trek series. When offered the role of Dr. Pulaski, she asked for one change the character's first name had to be Catherine. Her journey with Star Trek began earlier with roles like Lieutenant Commander Anne Mulhall and Dr. Miranda Jones. Later, she took on the character of Dr. Catherine Pulaski in The Next Generation's second season. Despite appearing in nearly every episode, she wasn't considered a regular. Diana Muldor's portrayal of scientists and doctors shows her versatility in the Star Trek universe. From Lieutenant Commander Anne Mulhall to Dr. Miranda Jones and eventually Dr. Pulaski, her roles are significant. Her involvement with the Star Trek franchise adds depth to its storylines, making her a notable figure in its world. Did you know that Diana Muldor's career took a sudden turn due to a medical emergency? In 1982, while filming the television series Dallas, she suffered a stroke. This unexpected health setback forced her to take a break from acting for several years. It was a challenging time for her, but she eventually recovered and resumed her acting career, though she never regained the same level of prominence she had before. This incident serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the unpredictability of circumstances even for someone as talented and dedicated as her. Despite the setback, Diana Muldor's resilience and determination shine through as she continued to pursue her passion for acting after overcoming such a significant obstacle. It's a testament to her strength and perseverance in the face of adversity. In an unexpected twist, Diana Muldor once faced a serious threat to her eyesight following surgery in the late 1970s. This scary experience made her realize how fragile life can be, even for tough individuals. Despite this setback, she didn't give up and showed incredible strength and determination to keep acting. Throughout her career, Muldor took on a variety of roles in both movies and TV shows. From playing Dr. Catherine Pulaski in Star Trek The Next Generation to appearing in popular series like Ella Law and The Tony Randall Show, she impressed audiences with her talent. Muldor's dedication to acting and her strong presence on screen made her a respected figure in the entertainment world. Despite facing challenges, Muldor stayed focused on her career, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Her journey reminds us that we can overcome tough times with perseverance and determination. Through her work, she continues to inspire both viewers and aspiring actors, creating a lasting impact.